So you should already be familiar with the idea that the poles and zeros influence the frequency response of a system, but the poles are also very strongly associated with the impulse response of a system. So what I've done is I've modified the ZP GUI application to show the impulse response then in this uh, plot rather than the frequency response. And I've got a pair of complex conjugate poles here, and you'll notice that as I move the poles around the unit circle, that the frequency of oscillation of the impulse response will change. So the impulse, the frequency of oscillation of, of the impulse response increases as the poles move around the unit circle in this direction. The other thing you'll notice is as I move the pole from its current position towards the origin of the unit circle along that line, well you'll see that the rate of decay of the amplitude will increase the further away the pole is from the unit circle. Now the rate of oscillation shouldn't change if I was doing this perfectly along the line but the rate of decay will vary as I move along that line between the origin, well that runs through the origin and the current position of the pole. So if I was to move that pole out you'll notice that the rate of oscillation changes or sorry the rate of oscillation doesn't change but the rate of decay of the amplitude will change. Okay. Now, as I get onto the unit circle, there should be very little change, or no change, in fact, if I'm bang on the unit circle. Now, I'm not exactly on the unit circle. You can see there's a small change in amplitude from this time close to zero and uh, these samples here that are um, further away from zero. Okay, So I'm not exactly on the unit circle, but I'm quite close. But is if as the pole moves outside the unit circle you'll see that the amplitude increases very rapidly now you have to keep an eye on the amplitude axis here that was uh, small before now that's 2000 so this is represents a very rapid increase in amplitude and that the further away the pole is from the unit circle the quicker that that amplitude will uh, increase and that is um, well it's hidden there, but 10 by 10 to the power of 8. So it's a very rapid increase in amplitude. And that, of course, is associated with an unstable system. So when you hear that poles outside of uh, the unit circle are associated with an unstable system, this is the reason why poles are associated with an impulse response that increases uh, rapidly. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for your attention.